As the U.S. military builds up on the Iranian border, we will be in Iran before summer as planned, unquote. So according to Rosie O'Donnell, the British set up their own people to be kidnapped to incite another war. This nutty theory goes along with O'Donnell's contention that 9-11 was a conspiracy and the terrorists mean us no harm. There were 15 British sailors and Marines who apparently went into uh, Iranian waters and they were seized by the Iranians. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have one thing to say, Gulf of Tonkin. Google it. It's very hard in America when anyone from the Mideast has been so demonized mm -hmm. that no matter what, it's impossible for some people to believe that the Iranians in any way could ever do anything ethical in any capacity. This that they've the somehow case. been dehumanized this to the, the point case. where they're not people who, they're just the enemy. We're, they're we're terrorists. Right there, two choices in life, Elizabeth. Faith or fear. Or fear. Faith or fear, that's your choice. You can walk through life believing in the goodness of the world or walk through life afraid of anyone who thinks different than you and trying to convert them to your way of thinking. And I think that this well, I'm country... I'm a person of faith, so, but I also believe well, that then this get away from war. the fear. Don't fear the terrorists. I, They're I mothers and fathers. The don't fear the terrorists. The question is, what should ABC do? Remember, ABC fired Bill Maher after he said the 9-11 killers had courage. Joining us now from Washington, Jane Hall. And from Miami, Bernie Goldberg, both are Fox News analysts. Okay, now you got a lot of calls on our radio today, Bernie, about people, well, what do you care about Rosie O'Donnell? And I don't, mm -hmm. I don't care what she says. She has freedom of speech to say whatever she wants. Obviously, though, she has a platform, a big platform. She's yeah. using um, for purposes that are irresponsible, in my opinion. How do you see it? Well, I, I think we should be concerned about what Rosie O'Donnell says. The first reason we should be concerned is as these television signals travel into outer space, there may come a time when some faraway civilization actually stumbles onto the show and, and becomes convinced that there's no intelligent life on Earth. So that's a reason to be concerned. But the other reason is she's mainstreaming hateful nonsense. All the things you just played. These are, these are I want to be kind, but they're stupid things. They're idiotic things. And she's not saying these things in some dark, far left corner of the World Wide Web. She's saying it on a major broadcast network that's owned by a giant entertainment conglomerate. The same people who bring us Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck are bringing us this orgy of left-wing nonsense five days a week in the middle of the morning aimed at the most unsophisticated politically unsophisticated viewers in all of America. That's why we should be concerned about Now, it. Jane, we asked ABC uh, to give us a comment about the situation, and it is rapidly deteriorating over there. We know that. And they said, show represents a variety of viewpoints as a platform for pre and open exchange of ideas. I don't believe that to be true. I don't believe Ann Coulter will get a program anytime exactly. soon exactly. on ABC. Do you, Jane? Well, they've got, you know, the woman Elizabeth on the show who's hardly a match for Rosie O'Donnell. I think that until recently, ABC made a commercial calculation that, at least in terms of the war in Iraq, public opinion had shifted. I mean, the reason they fired Bill Maher was that it was right after 9-11. I think they made a calculation that women like Rosie, even if they don't agree with her, they sort of like her fighting Donald Trump, and that this was provocative and got them on YouTube and your show. Right now, I mean, having seen the stuff where she talks about conspiracy theories, uh, and look up the Gulf of Tonkin, which was, you know, the, the reference to Vietnam starting perhaps under false pretenses w under Lyndon Johnson. I mean, she is putting out a very political point of view. It's not countered within the program. I can't think of anybody else. I mean, there are right-wing talk show hosts all over cable news. I mean, so there's plenty of right. spectrum of opinion. But she's the only one. I mean, I was thinking about this. Oprah champions going after child predators, but she doesn't go on and trash no, Bush but, but here's every the day. Deal. It would, ABC would never hire sure. a conservative individual to do what she does. But I want to throw out some stats here. Um, since January, um, The View has lost almost a half million viewers. Now, year to year, they're up. But the calculation that they made, Bernie, looks to me now to be coming into a disaster area. Yeah, it's always a gamble. It's always a gamble when, when you figure the American electorate or the American public, more to the point, has moved in a certain direction, so we'll play to that direction. You know, first of all, they're only guessing what they think the American people are feeling, and that could change at any point. And, and let me just say one other thing, Bill. You made a very important point about how Ann Coulter, who also says outrageous things, she does, 
but Ann Coulter is smarter than everybody on The View put together. And nobody's giving her or any other conservative a five-day-a-week slot on a mainstream television program. The, the, well, how do the you media account for culture, cable news? Well, cable news That's is different. a different animal. That's different. And, and if you look at Jane, if you add up all the commentators on cable news, it'll come out 50-50. But here you have young Elizabeth Hasselbeck getting hectored by Rosie O'Donnell and Joy Behar, two of the most far left women in the United States of America, but it's beyond that. These women aren't speaking for themselves, and I think both of you understand what I'm saying. They are spitting out the worst propaganda that is fed to them by far left American haters on the net. That's where they're that's getting the false flag, Gulf of Tonkin, and all this right. other business. And that's why I say, Bill, that the real danger is that they're mainstreaming this hateful nonsense. Right. That's that's what this All is. Right, we got to take it's a break thing. now. When I come back, when we come back, I'm going to play you a soundbite from the radio that is just un.